The Middle East, cradle of civilization, is shaped by its struggle with water. For centuries, life clustered around the Nile, Tigris and Euphrates, while the rest of the land remained harsh and dry. Today, rapid population growth and industrial demands are pushing freshwater resources to the brink. Rivers are shrinking, aquifers are depleting, and millions face daily water shortages. In many places, water is rationed, and its quality is often poor, impacting health and livelihoods. Agriculture, the region's economic backbone, suffers most, Fields turn to dust as water vanishes, threatening food security. Water scarcity also fuels political tensions, as rivers cross borders and nations compete for dwindling supplies. Disputes simmer, not with armies, but with dams and policy decisions that shape the region's future. In this context, a single nation's quest for water security becomes a story of survival and innovation. How can a country thrive in one of the world's most water-stressed regions? The answer lies in bold ideas, relentless innovation, and national resolve. These solutions offer hope, not just locally, but for any nation facing a similar crisis. The search for water security is a search for a sustainable future in an increasingly arid world. Israel's geography is a water challenge in itself, small, narrow, and mostly desert. The north gets some rain, but the vast Negev in the south is bone dry. Israel has only one major lake, the Sea of Galilee, and one major river, the Jordan, both under constant pressure. Historically, survival here meant ingenious water conservation, cisterns, tunnels, and careful management. The founding of modern Israel brought a new challenge, a booming population and a vision to make the desert bloom. Overpumping natural sources led to falling water levels and saltwater intrusion, threatening the nation's future. By the late 20th century, Israel faced a full-blown water crisis. The country realized it couldn't just manage existing resources, it had to create new ones. This sparked a national mission, uniting government, academia and industry to achieve water independence. The goal, innovate or perish. Decades of research and technology followed, transforming Israel's water landscape. The nation's survival depended on turning scarcity into opportunity. Israel's water revolution would soon inspire the world. Turning seawater into fresh water isn't new, but doing it affordably at scale is a modern challenge. In the 1960s, Israeli inventor Alexander Zarkin pioneered a method to desalinate seawater by freezing it, separating pure ice from salty brine. The government partnered with Fairbanks Whitney to form IDE Technologies, launching Israel's large-scale desalination journey. Zarkin's freezing method was innovative but hard to scale, so IDE explored other options, including thermal desalination. Early plants provided valuable experience even if they weren't the final answer. This era built a culture of relentless innovation and technical expertise. Engineers kept searching for better, cheaper and more reliable solutions. These early efforts proved that large-scale desalination was possible. The groundwork was laid for a breakthrough that would change everything. Reverse osmosis. Israel's initial struggles were stepping stones to global leadership in water technology. The real breakthrough came with reverse osmosis, forcing seawater through membranes to remove salt. By the early 2000s, Israel faced severe drought and made a bold decision, invest massively in reverse osmosis desalination. The Ashkelon plant, launched in 2005, became the world's largest and most advanced at the time. 
Its success proved desalination could be a primary water source for the nation. More plants followed, each more efficient, culminating in the Sorek plant, which slashed energy costs with advanced technology. Today, Israel produces some of the world's cheapest, highest quality desalinated water. Desalinated water now supplies most of Israel's domestic needs. Cities like Tel Aviv and Jerusalem drink water that started in the Mediterranean Sea. This shift has allowed natural sources like the Sea of Galilee to recover. Israel has effectively created a new, reliable river of fresh water. The country's water supply is now decoupled from unpredictable rainfall. Urban water security is no longer at the mercy of drought. Israel's reverse osmosis revolution is a model for the world. Creating water is only half the battle. Delivering it nationwide is the other. Israel's national water carrier, built in 1964, was designed to move water from the north to the arid south. This vast network of pipelines, canals and pumps became the backbone of the country's water system. With desalination, the carrier's role evolved. It now moves water in all directions, integrating natural and manufactured supplies. Coastal desalination plants pump fresh water into the grid, reaching every corner of the country. The system's flexibility allows managers to respond to changing needs and optimize distribution. Remarkably, the carrier can now replenish natural reservoirs like the Sea of Galilee with surplus desalinated water. This helps stabilize lake levels, protect ecosystems and store water for future use. The integration of natural and man-made systems is a triumph of planning and engineering. Israel's water grid is a model of adaptability and resilience. It ensures water reaches every community, farm and city, no matter the climate. Desalination solved drinking water, but agriculture needed another answer. Israel turned to wastewater recycling, collecting and treating nearly all municipal sewage. The Shafdan plant near Tel Aviv purifies wastewater to high standards, making it safe for irrigation. Recycled water now supplies over half of Israel's agricultural needs. Israel recycles about 90% of its wastewater, the highest rate in the world. A separate pipeline network delivers this water to farms, even in the Negev desert. This strategy frees up fresh and desalinated water for homes and industry. It also reduces pollution, as treated water isn't dumped into rivers or the sea. By turning waste into a resource, Israel has secured its food supply and kept agriculture thriving. Green fields in the desert, irrigated with recycled water, are a testament to this achievement. Water recycling is now a cornerstone of Israel's water security. Israel's journey from scarcity to abundance is a blueprint for a thirsty world. Climate change and population growth are straining water supplies everywhere. Israel's model shows that geography doesn't have to dictate destiny. The key a diverse portfolio, desalination, recycling, efficient transport and water-saving agriculture. Long-term planning, government commitment and a culture of innovation made it possible. Water security requires more than technology. It demands national will and vision. Israel's experience proves that even the driest places can thrive with the right approach. The technologies are now more accessible and affordable than ever. The challenge for other nations is to adapt these solutions and commit to action. Israel's story is about resilience, ingenuity and hope. It's a testament to what's possible in the face of environmental limits. The future of water is being written, one innovation at a time.